good morning students i hope you all are doing well so today we'll start with a new chapter that is the midnight visitor it's written by robert j arthur robert j arthur was a writer of speculative fiction known for his work with the mysterious traveler radio series and for writing the three investigators a series of young adult novels Arthur was honored twice by the Mystery Writers of America with an Edgar Award for Best Radio Drama. He wrote scripts for television such as The Twilight Zone and Alfred Hitchcock's. The story is about a secret agent, Ozibel, who has spent an evening with a writer named Fowler, who had expected that as he would be meeting a secret agent, he would be looking into a lot of adventure. But instead, he rather gets bored when he meets Ozibel. as the things that happened were exactly the opposite of what he had imagined just imagine you are going somewhere and you had certain expectations being it from a place or for from a person and what if it didn't turn out to be as good as you were expecting it to be obviously you'll feel bad you'll feel disappointed about that situation so paulo was feeling the same thing It's a story about a detective who defies the stereotype as we know from the novels or from the movies. Ozibel was a very fat man with a short height and thick accent. A young writer goes to meet him to get some inspiration for his next story or novel, but as Ozibel says, the young writer must be highly disappointed to see an unassuming person as a detective because of his physical appearance, because of how he looks. But How Ozibel gets rid of his unexpected guest, the midnight visitor, proves his expertise as a secret agent. When Fowler went to meet Ozibel on that day, some important documents were about to come for Ozibel, and a midnight visitor, unexpected guest, came into their room. That was another secret agent named as Max, and how Ozibel gets rid of that situation, that proves his expertise being a secret agent. Ozibel was a smart secret agent but he did not look like one at all being short and very fat Paulo was a young writer who wanted to write about Ozibel and so spent an evening with him Paulo was feeling disappointed so far as he could not find any characteristic of a secret agent in Ozibel When both Ozibel and Paulo entered Ozibel's hotel room another secret agent named Max that was the midnight visitor was waiting in the room with an automatic pistol pointed at them max was there because he had come to know that ozibel was going to receive an important report about some missiles that night max threatened to shoot if ozibel tried to act smart to ensure the report safety as well as his own and the writer's safety ozibel invented a story about anybody entering his room easily through a balcony just below the window in his room Actually there was no balcony if anybody climbed out from the window he would fall to his death as the room was on the 6th floor however max told them that he had entered the room through the door using a suddenly there was a knocking on the door and ozibel pretended that it was the local police who had been asked to provide him extra security for the important document he was about to receive When the knocking was repeated Max became angry at Ozibel and decided to wait in the balcony which he thought existed until the police went away so Ozibel uses his quick mind his wittiness and makes a story of a non-existent balcony and the policeman when he got to know that actually Max entered by using a pass key he uses common sense he used his wittiness he used his experience over that time and the fear of police makes the intruder jumped out of the window only to crash at the ground he stepped out of the window and fell to his death when the door opened a waiter came in with the drinks which ozibel had ordered to be delivered to his room when he had returned to the hotel so ozibel showed a remarkable common sense and he came out of that situation very wisely fowler his friend was completely surprised to see a secret agent ozibel who was too fat to be a secret agent based on his physical appearance although for paulo the situation was scary but ozibel sensing the danger fabricated a brilliant story about the non-existent balcony on which max believed ozibel again befooled max by saying that the police were knocking at the door 
and Max wanted to run away to avoid the police, jumps to his death into that virtual balcony. That shows his expertise, that shows his common sense, the triggered point at that point of time. So the ultimate message that one can get from the story is that in any situation we should not panic and we should take a step and face the situation with a presence of mind. And Max, the secret agent, actually failed at it. He didn't use his presence of mind. He just did things out of fear. And that is that leads to his fall. So these are the few characteristics of the Oswald. He was the protagonist of the story. Stereotypical secret agent. Disorganized. Fat person. Lethargic. Intelligent and observant. Quick and witty. You have to frame a proper character sketch out of these pointers. I hope I am clear with the chapter. These are your assignment questions. Read the chapter carefully. Go through the video and you will be able to attempt these questions. Thank you. Have a nice day.